Hello, welcome to Oxford Heirlooms. In this video, I'm going to sew the center back seam um, and I will put a neck band along the neck hole opening. So let me real quickly pin my seams together. Let me get my pleats matched up. Put at least one pin in here. Okay, then I'm gonna use a quarter inch seam allowance and sew this seam. And then to finish it off, I will zigzag. The pattern actually says just to um, iron the seam open, but I think I'd rather zigzag it. And then I'll press it to one side. Okay, let me set my machine to a zigzag. And zigzag to finish it off. There, that finishes that off nicely. Okay, so let me go press this to one side, um, and then we will begin working on pinning um, the neck band um, to the neck hole opening. So I'll be right back. Okay, I've been to the ironing board and I pressed that seam to one side. Um, I also took my neckband piece and I pressed it in half. Now I'm going to fold it in half and make a little blue dot um, at the center back so that I can begin to pin this neckband to the bonnet neck hole opening. Okay, so I've got a little blue dot halfway through. So I'm going to start pinning at the center back, and then I'm going to work my way um, to the front edge of the bonnet. Let me get a pin in here. Okay, now this neckband piece is cut on a bias, so it will ease and curve um, around the neck hole opening. I'm going to put a pin in about every half an inch or every five-eighths of an inch so that I can maintain a nice smooth curve. And I'll trim my lace off in just a little bit. I know it's a little bit long and hanging out there, but that's okay. Better to have too much lace than not enough, huh? Okay, and I'm going to continue to pin up until I get to the front edge of the, the garment. And then my neckband piece is a little bit longer than what I need, but that's okay. Just kind of straighten it out so that it comes out at a 90 degree angle to the lace. Put a couple of pins in to hold it in place. Okay, so I've got one side pinned into place, and it's nice and curved and smooth. So I need to do this on the other side of the neck hole opening, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my neck band pinned to the neck hole opening. Now I'm going to turn this um, inside out just temporarily so that I can sew um, along this neckband edge. Now I'm going to maintain 
um, the folded edge of the neck band, I'm going to keep my uh, presser foot um, lined up with the fold. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Okay, and begin to sew this neck band into place. Take my pins out as I come to them. Like I said, don't be afraid to use pins. You know, when you're sewing, pins are definitely your friends. Now, this particular neck band was supposed to have lace um, along the neck hole opening, but I decided to do a neck band rather than lace because I'm, you know, even though I have a little bit of lace on the bonnet, um, I don't, it's for a little fella. Um, and this family, you know, specifically said, don't make it too frilly. So I'm using some laces um, that don't have flowers woven into them. They have sort of like um, some sculptural geometrics. Because I have some laces that I use for little guys and some that I like to use for little girls. Okay, so this will take me a minute to get this sewn all the way along the neck hole opening, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got that neck band sewn on. I'm going to trim my lace now. those little pieces away okay and then what I want to do is I want to fold this neckband to the inside um, of the bonnet so along the um, unfinished seam um, about every half an inch or every three-eighths of an inch I'm gonna cut a little notch that way, the batiste of the bonnet will flare out when I fold the neckband to the inside. Just clip your notches without cutting your seam that you just sewed. There. Okay, now I also need to trim my neckband piece until it's about a quarter of an inch. It extends about a quarter of an inch past the front edge of the lace. Now I'm going to fold this neckband up, fold my front end of my neckband in, and then I'm going to bring it down so I have a nice, neat little corner. And then I'll pin that into place. Okay, I'm going to go to this other end and do the same thing. Put a pin in place to hold the neck band. And then I'm going to start from the center back, fold my neck band in, and pin it into place because in a minute, I'm going to use a needle and thread to hands to whip stitch this neck band along the neck hole opening. Okay, so I need to pin this other side, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got that pinned. Now from one side, I'm going to start beyond the entredeau, and I'm going to um, bring my needle and thread in. And then what I'll do 
is I will sew or whip stitch the neckband out to the edge of the lace, do a couple of little stitches, and then come back down the direction I just sewed. Just keep your stitches small, about 3 sixteenths of an inch is good. And you get out to the end, do a couple of little stitches to tack that into place. Take the pin out now. That makes a nice neat corner. And then start coming back down the direction you just sewed without puckering the neckband. And we'll do the same sort of thing on the other end of the neckband. I'll sew out to the edge of the lace and then I'll come back to just beyond the entredeau before I tie off my thread. That way I don't have any knots out at the very edge of the bonnet. Now, if you would rather do invisible stitches rather than whip stitches, that's perfectly fine. This just seems to be, well, it is. It's how I learn to do things, and that's just what I do. Okay, now this is going to take me a little while to get this sewn all the way to the other end, so I'll be right back. Okay, I've got that neckband sewn on and the corners are nice and neat, okay? Um, and that neckband will actually give me a place to sew my ribbons onto um, later on for the ribbon ties underneath the chin. Okay, now in the next video, we'll start working on the back of the bonnet. Um, I'll have to sew some basting threads um, and then go through the process of sewing on the circular piece of fabric for the crown of the bonnet. But in this video, we were sewing the center back seam and putting a neck band um, on along the neck hole opening. So thank you.